spindle? <laughs> yeah, we uh, sheared a right front spindle off uh, in our turn three on our second lap, and uh, thank God we got our first lap in, and it wasn't a very good one, but it was just good enough to, uh, you know, keep us in contention, and this has nothing to do with me. I'll tell you what, this is a team effort. First off, it starts with Mike Hefner, a uh, great car owner. Uh, first off, give us a car good enough to win. Second off, giving us enough equipment in the trailer to fix it after we wreck like that to uh, uh, bring it back out and be as good as new. Uh, and third, obviously, a crew that uh, just never gives up. And uh, I'll tell you what, as a driver, that's uh, all you can ask for. And uh, the most confidence booster that uh, any driver out here can ask for is just a crew that uh, never gives up on your good nights, on your bad nights. They, they, they work hard and, and they come out here and try to win races. And uh, uh, that's what these guys do. So uh, thanks to them. Uh, they made me look good. So uh, uh, luckily, obviously, that pill draw was obviously a huge deal. But uh, uh, you know, for us to just get out front and the car was as good as it was, and uh, be able to get through traffic, uh, come away with a win. This is uh, I've had some pretty big wins, but uh, to wreck like that qualifying, and know the cars actually broke. I mean, the frames actually split across the front, and the, uh, it's just uh, a, a great testament to this race team, and uh, I'm just proud to be a part of it. Well, uh, we I know they did a bunch of them, and you did a bunch of drama. Once you got into lap traffic. Uh, the layer flag doesn't do much for you. <laughs> no, but uh, our car was good, so I felt like I could move around. I mean, I, the only person I felt like I was pretty rude with was Kaufman, and, and I tried sliding the lap before and, and, and wasn't going to clear him and had to back out. And the next time I, uh, I knew I was going to have to show him my nose and hopefully he'd check up. But uh, uh, you got to do that when you're leading and, and knowing that somebody uh, is going to be breathing down your back behind you. So, uh, uh, you know, traffic really didn't bother us too much. If anything, it probably helped us. I felt like I thought I got through pretty good. So uh, uh, when your car is that good, uh, you don't really worry about getting traffic because we can move around. So I uh, uh, just really wish uh, my, my, my mom and uh, my daughter are in town and uh, they're back in Harrisburg today and they trip over. And uh, uh, my two-year-old, uh, Taylor's gotten pretty uh, uh, used to victory lane. It's been a while since uh, we weren't going to race, so I really miss her being here. But uh, uh, this is just a great team win. Well, Darren, we sure appreciate you and the PA boss and coming here and running about the speedway. We do everything we can to get the track good for you, but what does this water been like in morning two? It looks like you're using all three and four. Perfect in the ass, man. So, uh, uh, it's only the third time I've been here, and, and, and I tell you what, it, it is enjoyable to come here. Oh, both times I've been here, I haven't been that good, but I, I've enjoyed coming and racing here. So, uh, uh, to come back here, good win. Uh, only our third time here is uh, uh, just, just an awesome feeling. So, uh, it's a good, good start to our speed week, and uh, we'll just try to keep it going. Well, your first lap was actually third quicker, so that's kind of what uh, what kind of got you through there. Well, actually, we ended up ninth after overall, and, and, and the way they do the format is the top six redraw. So, you know, I told the guys, you know, hey, you know, we're not going to make top six because uh, we didn't think that many cars would miss it out of the heat. And I uh, said, hey, if, if on our bad night we wreck and we come back and we can salvage the top ten, uh, that's going to be a good night for us for the week in general. So uh, uh, we got lucky enough that three missed it. That put us in the draw. That put us on the pole. And uh, uh, so if we consider this our bad night winning, uh, I'm sure we're going to have a lot worse. So uh, just, uh, like I said, to bounce back with a team that just never uh, never said die until the race was over. And uh, luckily the last one standing. Well, Darren, obviously you guys are uh, concerned you guys are going to run the whole thing for the points. Yeah, I mean, that was the biggest thing. If we weren't going to run for the points, we probably would have just loaded it up. So, uh, you know, honestly, after time trials, the, the plan was get the car raceable, get what we could out of it, and, uh, you know, salvage a decent finish so that we weren't completely out of the points deal. So uh, uh, this was a great rebound. So we'll uh, build another car and uh, go to Grandview on Tuesday. Where did you end up at last time? Oh, we ran second. So uh, that's a good start so far. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I'd say, say, hey, listen, you got some sponsors on here, you got a car. That's how they get here. Yeah, Mike has our cars with uh, Leelands.com, uh, Pasquale Body Shop is Jimmy and Teddy's our, uh, our, our, our main mechanic and a uh, uh, big part of this race team. Uh, scrubbing up the car wash back in Allentown, and uh, uh, my dad and, and a good friend of him are here, uh, Ken Tate, and uh, uh, Danny's auto salad is a big part of this team this year. So uh, uh, without them guys, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it, and uh, it's a great team effort. Absolutely. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to draw the $944 ticket out.